Hi guys and welcome to another video. With the arrival of Windows 11, more and more people need to activate TPM 2.0 and Secure Boot on their PC. In this video I'm going to show you how to check if you already have TPM on your PC and how to enable it together with the Secure Boot. Before we proceed, I just want to highlight that in specific cases, activating TPM and Secure Boot can render your PC non-bootable. Please make sure that you note down all the changes that you perform in your BIOS, just in case you need to revert them back. First off, let's make some checks. Press the Windows button and R and then type in the box msinfo32 and hit enter. In the screen that comes up, look up the BIOS option. It should say UEFI. If this option says legacy, you will need to update your system to UEFI. Further below, you can find secure boot state. It should say on. If it says off, then secure boot is not yet enabled on your PC, so we need to do that as well. Let's continue our checks with the TPM. Press again the Windows plus R buttons and type in tpm.msc. This should open the TPM window. For the purpose of this video, I completely disabled my TPM and this is how it looks like when you don't have TPM enabled or available at all. Let's move on to how to enable them. Restart your PC and, as soon as it starts booting up, access the BIOS. This is usually done by continuously pressing the F2, Delete, F10 or F1 buttons. Once you access the BIOS, activate the Advanced mode if you don't have it active already. I have an Asus BIOS, so yours might look a little bit different. I'll first go through this procedure on my computer, then I'll try to show you some screenshots from various BIOS versions so you can easily find your option. Using your keys, move over to the Advanced or Settings tab. The option you should look for is PCH Firmware Configuration. Once you open it up, select Enable Firmware TPM. For the sake of this video, I completely disabled my TPM, so once I enabled the TPM firmware, I had to reset it once more in order for the Trusted Computing menu to appear. As you can see, after the reboot, I get this new option and in it I have the option to further enable security device support. After another reset of my PC, additional settings for the TPM itself appear on this page. This might not be required in your case, but I wanted to cover as many situations as possible. Now for other BIOSes, the TPM options usually reside in the Security or Trusted Computing tabs. The Enable TPM option can go under various names. Based on your BIOS, look up if you can enable PTT, set the TPM support to enable, enable security device support, select TCG2 configuration and enable the TPM device. If you have an AMD CPU, the option could be called AMD CPU FTPM. As you can see, there are many BIOS types and each implementation is a little bit different. Look up your motherboard manual or leave a comment and I'll try to help you out if you cannot find it. One thing you should know is that TPM implementation might not be available at all for PCs older than 5-6 years old. If you don't have TPM at all, unfortunately, there is no other option to have it installed. These chips come embedded onto your motherboard, therefore the only option for you is a brand new PC. At this point TPM should be enabled, so let's move over to Secure Boot. The Secure Boot option is usually under Boot or Security tab. If you do have CSM mode enabled, this might mean that you have a legacy BIOS and you would need to change your OS to a new UEFI compatible. Disabling this option before changing your OS to UEFI will render your PC unbootable. Don't worry if this happens. In case you disable CSM and can no longer boot, all you need to do is come back in BIOS and enable CSM again. Your PC should be up and running. However, as stated earlier, you will need to update your operating systems to a new FI compatible. Secure Boot cannot be enabled on legacy systems. Let me know in the comments if you need a tutorial for such a procedure. Now let's go over to Secure Boot. In most cases, all you need to do is set Secure Boot to enable. If you also have Secure Boot mode, this needs to be set to standard. If it is already set to standard, but you still can't enable Secure Boot, just change Secure Boot mode from standard to custom then switch it back to standard. The system might give a message about resetting platform keys or loading factory default keys. Agree with it and you should be able to set Secure Boot to enabled. In my case I also needed to specify that the OS type that I have installed is a Windows UEFI. If you have an option, just make sure you select a new UEFI operating system as the boot option, not a legacy one. Move over to the Exit tab and choose Save Changes and Reset option. Once the PC boots up, let's do another check. 
Press the Windows plus R button and start tpm.msc. Now it should say that you have TPM enabled and hopefully you also have specification 2.0. If it says specification 1.2, Windows 11 might still run, but some hacks are required for that. Use the Windows plus R buttons to start up MS Info 32 again. Secure boot state should be on now. This is it guys, I hope this was useful for you and you are now having a running PC with secure boot and TPM enabled. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you do. If not, as said before, leave a comment down below and I will try to help you out. Have fun.